Gillian O'Kane, you're asking about the fashion. What's it, you know, how did I go about that? Well, for me, it was whatever was clean. Now, if you want to talk about the 80s fashion that comes full circle, and it's interesting for me to see some of the young kids today embracing some of those fashions, you know, because when I was growing up in the 80s, people were saying, oh, well, you know, the 70s was a time. I happen to love the 70s. I love 70s fashion. That's my favourite. You know, the cuts of the, the, the clothes, the cuts uh, uh, of the, uh, the suits. I really love that, you know, because the, the movies uh, that I'd watch and TV programmes that I'd watch, you know, like Starsky and Hutch and stuff like that, you know, I, I, I really, I just adored that whole look. And I always thought it was cool and I loved my cardigans and stuff like that. So... I like the 70s if it was a preference for me. And some of the 60s did cool stuff and it was all kind of happy and flowy, but the structure of some of the, the, the cuts of the, the, the fashion houses uh, of the 70s was just amazing. And the, the photography was just incredible. The fashion and the way they presented it really appealed to me uh, and was aspirational. And it's funny how it comes full circle. And like the 80s, for instance, uh, you know, when you be watching, when you think of the 80s, you think of the mullet. And we think of, well, I certainly do, like Miami Vice, where the guy would have the collar up and they would roll up the sleeves of the jacket, you know, and it would all be like, very much like that. And, uh, you know, like the Don Johnson thing that they did in Miami Vice was really embraced, not by myself, but, you know, I look back and we, and we see, we, we, we see the humour in it, you know, and, but the, 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 the vivacious colours of the 80s, with the neon pinks and the blues and the, uh, you know, that I loved all that and the typography of the fashion that was happening there. And it's, it gives it such a strong identity, you know, and when you look, when you look, when I certainly look back at the fashion of it, I, I have a wry smile in my, you know, I have a smile in my face. I'm not too sure if it's something where I want to jump back into, but you know, when the distance of time and you see the youth culture picking up in it, you watch it and you go, Oh, fair play to you. And they're tapping into that excitement, you know, about what that period was in the 80s and what it meant to me and, and hopefully yourself, that, you know, whether it was TV programmes or what was going on uh, and, and, and mainstream television uh, with the fashion, you'd see it and you go, my God, look at that. And the shell suits that were there, and the, the, you know, the girls would have their hair permed and the, and the makeup and... You know, I look back at it, uh, and, and I, you know, and, and I, I, I do find it funny. But at the same time, that's what it was, you know. But when you see come full circle, isn't it just bang on right? But if I could pick any, it would definitely be the seventies. I just love that whole thing, that that combo. I love the round collars and the big collars on the jackets, and ah, just fantastic. Good question.